differences, right? There is no guarantees about anything about the difficulty of midterm two compared to midterm one. Return lambda of x. I think this is what it was. Print of. Of course, I had this printed. Return rows of a thorn. And then I say, define box that takes in nothing and prints in my side. And then I define tame to take in an F and a G and says return F of G. And then I say, of prince, comma fox, call that with and one. Yeah, I think this is the exact question. Pretty sure this is the exact question. The exam we had? No, no, on the worksheet. On the worksheet. Should we have a quote with it? Such a mysterious place, the land of tears. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just going to do this, and I'm not going to take any questions, and if you have questions, send me an email, because I really have to look after that. The first thing I have to do is evaluate the opera, well, no, sorry, the first thing I have to do is define prints. So I have to make a function prints, which takes in uh, a rows, and its parent is global, and then I bind prints, because they're so prints. Next, I say, uh, define function box, which takes in nothing, whose parent is global. I say box, goes like this. Then I say, define a function tame, which takes in an F and a G, whose parent is equal to global, and tame points this. And then I'm out of functions to define. Then I say, I have to figure this out. Everyone can see the board, right? Yeah. All right. First, I identify and evaluate the operator, and then I identify and evaluate the operator, right? So here's the operator, and here's the operator. We know because this is the outer set of parentheses, which means we're feeding Antoine into whatever this thing returns, and we hope that this is a function, right? Eventually. Well, first we have to figure out what this is in order to plug Antoine into it. So we know that. Uh, this is a sub-expression, which is also usually a defined function call, which means we have to figure out the operand of the operator and the operands. Okay? So we figure out that tame actually is this function up there. Prince is actually that function, and fox is that function. So we have one function being fed to other functions. Right? This isn't part of the environment diagram, but this is how I would visualize it. Tame is taking in two procedures, prince and fox. And then, I get to create a new frame, because I've evaluated the operator and the operands. I call it F1, and I know I called tame in order to create this frame. Its parent is whatever tame's parent is, which is global. Then I say, okay, um, tame takes in two things, an F and a G. Well, since I've already evaluated them, I know that F points to whatever the value of prince was, which is this thing, and G points to whatever the value of... Uh, Fox was, which is this. And the, then I evaluate the body of the procedure. So tame says return f of g being called. That means I have to evaluate the operator and the operand. The operator turns out to be this function. The operand is a function call. So I have to draw a frame for this. Right? I have to evaluate what g is, which turns out to be this. And then I evaluate its zero arguments, and I create a new frame, and that's called fox now. Fox, this is f2, the parent is still global, because parent, fox's parent is global, right? This is in the context of calling g of, of, of nothing, and then we get to pass that into f. So then we do whatever fox tells us to do. Fox says print in my side, 
which means it essentially prints in my side, and its return value is none. Because printing didn't do anything, and you don't have an explicit return statement in there, that would therefore we return none by default. Now this none, now that we've gotten an answer from this frame, we've got a return value, we return to the frame that called Fox. So we called Fox because we said G, calling G, which means we were in tame when we were doing that. And now we're back in tame, and now that we figured out that F is the prince function, and G is none, we create a new frame, F3, calling prince on none. So prince takes in one thing and takes in a rose. Rose is now none. The parent is the global, right? Because prince points to global. And then we do whatever prince tells us to do, which first says, take this rose and redefine it. Redefine it to be the function rose, which takes in rose as argument. And make sure its parent is F3. Because that's the current frame we're in when we created this function. And then it says, return rows of a thorn. So we figure out what rows is, which is this function. We create a new, f well first, we, then we figure out what a thorn is, but a thorn evaluates the a thorn. And then we create a new frame, f4, whose parent is equal to f3 because rows took in, uh, rows' parent was f3. Rows goes here. It takes in as argument rows, and rows happens to be a thorn. And then we do whatever the body of rows says to do. Now the body of rows says return this procedure lambda of x print rows. That means we have to create a procedure. So I will create a procedure func lambda 1 of x. Its parent is f4 because we're in the clear frame when we created this function. And it, nothing points to this, because this is a lambda procedure, we don't say to point to it, right? But we do say to return it, so the return value here is this procedure, because, you know, it says return lambda blah 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 blah. Now since we've gotten a return value from F4, we return to whoever called rows, which was print, right? Because we were saying return rows of a thorn. Its return value was whatever the return value of rows was, so that also points to uh, this lambda procedure. Now that we've done that, we've gotten the answer to prints, we can go back to wherever, whoever called prints, which if you remember was tame. So holy crap, we have a return value in here, and it, it's whatever the prints returned. Right? And since the return value of print was this function, the return value here is also this function. You can see why we've watered down the problem for the metric. So this is not the same level. This is the worst that you'll have to do. Because there's like four different tricks that you could have fallen in for and gotten completely derailed. Now we got the answer for tame, which means that this entire thing Oh. is replaced by this function lambda 1. Right? So lambda 1, the function, gets substituted here. Right? And now we can pass on Antoine into it. Which means we, we create a new frame, because we've already evaluated Antoine a long time ago, and we just evaluate it in, in order to get this function lambda 1. Let's call this f5, we're doing lambda 1, Parent is equal to whatever lambda 1 points to, so it points to the f, uh, its parent is f4, so this parent is f4. It takes in an x, right, which is Antoine in this case, Antoine. And it doesn't really matter because the lambda says, fuck you, I'm just going to print rows. <laughs> now, printing rows means that we have to figure out what rows is. We're at f we're at f5 right now, we, we have no rows in this frame, so we follow the parent to f4, whose rows is a thorn, right? So, if you're keeping track at home, first thing we printed way long time ago was in my side. So, in my side has shown up on the, on the screen. If you don't remember, go through it again, because I'm not going through it again. 
It's, it was when we called Fox and Fox said print in my sign. <laughs> we did that a long time ago. In Vatican Language, we have to show that? We don't have to. Yeah. We, we want to show what the output is. Okay. So we'll make it explicit if you want to show printed output. Okay. And then we just wrote a thorn, right? On two separate lines. And then the return value here is none. Because the lambda says return whatever print returns, and print returns none. Which means we're done. Cool, thank you. Now, if you, the, the solution, the full blown solution is, is detailed in the worksheet that I, uh, I printed, or I didn't print it out, but I linked you to. So you can double check to make sure I'm doing things right. And if I have any questions, anytime this weekend, just send me.